question. Do you ever feel overwhelmed like your life consists of one storm after the next storm and then the next storm and it just feels overwhelming like you're going to drown, like you're going to be washed away, like you're going to suffocate and can't breathe? Does your life ever feel like that for you? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. Thanks for joining me here today at the Let's Get Metaphysical show. Well, we had the weirdest storm I've ever, ever, ever seen today. Let's take a look at some of the pieces of it, because I have a feeling it's going to translate into what happens in your very real life. I know, I'm sure glad I'm not up in the air in an airplane or just playing outdoors. Can you hear the thunder rumbling? I've never seen clouds move this fast. They're coming so fast with so much darkness, it gets dark in the house. I have to turn on the lights, that's how dark it is. Kind of a metaphor for life. Things happen so fast. Sometimes we don't see what's going on. Same sky. Two minutes later. That's how fast the storm is moving. Pouring faster than the gutters can accommodate. see the power in the rain. Life can be unpredictable. What do you do? I don't know what these little white things are on the surface of the water. I've never ever seen them. And they keep appearing, moving around, dancing around. This is the weirdest storm ever. When a storm like that blows into your life, completely unexpected, you're not protected, you're not prepared for it, what do you do? How do you handle it? Do you curl up in a ball and run into your house and close the doors, close all the windows, and pretend it's not happening? What do you do? Do you ever think about when everything is going great? Do you ever think about what happens for the moments when things are definitely not going great. Because the thing is, bad things happen in everybody's lives. Does that mean it's time to fall apart? Does that mean it's time to get all upset, to give up hope, to move your life from a level 7 out of 10 of happy and crash down to a level 2? You see, when things happen, it's up to you to interpret how you're going to feel about it. And when it's something upsetting, feel upset. Because if you don't feel upset, if you try to suppress it, it's going to eat you up inside and it's never going to stop hurting. It's going to keep building and building and building. You know what I mean. Suppressing is never going to be a way to move beyond the crisis, beyond the storm, whatever it is, physical, emotional, it's up to you to find a way to know your life's going to go on. And you'll have some days, maybe it'll only be hours, maybe it'll be days, maybe it'll even be weeks, to get through reminding yourself that this is still you in control of your life and it's still your life. It's your life to interpret in a way that lets you handle so that you can get through today, get through tomorrow, get through the next week. Figure out what you need to do for you. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do or what to think or how to act. You 
take care of you because you know what nobody else can get inside you nobody else can feel what you're feeling and whatever you're feeling allow yourself to feel it because it's going to be there whether you allow it whether you recognize it whether you're conscious of it or not it's still going to be there and it's up to you to find what you need to do for you to move yourself into a place of functioning in your everyday life. The people who don't, they're the people who live forever, tormented, hurting, even if they put a false smile on their face, they're still hurting inside. Sadness is real. And knowing that you are in charge of how you're going to take your step each day, today, and tomorrow, and the next day. Because it is up to you to live your life your way. And if you would like some help with that, Go down into the show notes and contact me. You don't have to be alone in your life. Just somebody who knows how to help you talk through your feelings, because they can't tell you how to feel. They can't tell you how to change your feelings. Somebody who can help you through it. Contact me and we'll talk. I'm so glad you came here today. Remember to join our Facebook group. Remember that you can watch or listen to any episode on our show channel. That link is also, all the links are in the show notes. Take advantage of the offer from Audible. Find a book that's going to help you move your head, your heart, your life someplace that feels a little better for you than what you're feeling now. Because there are certainly lots of books out there that you can listen to so you don't even have to sit and look at the words unless you choose to. That link also is in the show notes. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment because nothing in your life ever happens outside of you. Nothing in your life ever will happen outside of you because all those electrical impulses go into your different senses where they get interpreted inside you. I look forward to being here with you next time.